No, 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 I cannot... There's people outside. I cannot tell you what this is, except I believe this was the ultimate Yu-Gi-Oh win. What ended up happening was I had my monsters all set. I, I summoned what I got to summon, what I had to. And it looked like I was about to lose. I was low on, very low on life points, and he was very high on life points. And I, it was just the most clutch win I have ever seen. Take a look. It says the ultimate win. That's because it is. Because I'm a bass. A bass. Let's check it out. Okay, so I am run. I was running a blue, a blue eye shining dragon deck. What that means is. I got nothing but blue eyes, a bunch of blue eyes here. This is my side deck, a bunch of dragons is and actually was that a dragon? Yep, that's a dragon. Although that never gets used. So with this deck, I'm able to I if I play my cards correct, which I did, I'm able to summon two blue eyes shining dragons. So already uh I already can't really accomplish my goals, so. Start with that just to pull on an offense. This buddy has some of the same cards I do, which means I'm getting points for his uh, drawing, which I guess he had a plan of special, special summoning something too. Unfortunately, that doesn't happen. That little bastard has a dark hole in there. See? A little bastard. Now that doesn't get used until later, which is a really lucky draw. I think it was. I actually don't remember. Never mind, I used it already. Uh, see? Alright, for God damn it, mouse. First blue eyes. I have nothing to put on the field though, so I feel screwed, I feel vulnerable, I feel like my ass is gonna get brutally pounded. Blue eyes! But luckily, I have that Raigeki in case he tries anything funny. Which, for some reason, he doesn't want to do. Which he has, he has that, and he he could have taken off 300 points with that. I mean, and then this does get used later in a very bad taste, very bad way. Which it had to be done if I wanted to live. If I wanted to live. Now normally I would have used this on a white stone of legend, but I didn't have that, and I really needed cards. But right now I have two blue eyes, which means if I wanted to, I can summon. And then I have the eyes. I made him with the eyes of blue. So if anything happens to her, I get to summon one of these two, which it doesn't happen, unfortunately, because this guy is smart. Also, he has two reckless greeds. That son of a bitch is using a lot of the same cards I am. Which means now he cannot draw for four turns if if I'm doing my math correctly, which he which they stack. Hopefully. But this little son of a bitch has more spell cards that will him. Ah ha ha. Now this I wouldn't need this until way later on. But it still gets used, fortunately, which is this is the key to summoning the second blue eyes shining dragon. A second one of this. Except, I don't need it now. Aha! Trade-in! One of the key ingredients to here. So, with trade-in, um, discard one level of a monster to draw two cards. That's good, because the point of this is to try and get my blue eyes into the graveyard, so that I can get the first card to this combo. I can't remember what it's called, but what it does is it sends... It's basically a polymerization, except you send cards that you need from your graveyard to you banish them and then you can uh, fusion summon whatever you need to fusion summon which is the point of the blue eyes ultimate dragon just watch it gets good it gets good look there's the second blue eyes shining dragon it's bad if he has anything that like discards my whole entire hand because then I'm fucked and then I wouldn't win the jar of greed because someone decided it to be fun to... Ooh, upstart dragon. That means I can give him points, which was bad at the moment, but it means I get to draw cards, which is good for me, because that's the plan. And then this little son of a bitch activates the Ohama Trio. I think I'm saying that right. God, they're ugly. 
which means I'm getting tokens, which means if I try and destroy the tokens, or if he destroys the tokens, I take damage for it, even though they're in defense. Which is why I use Tarantal Tribute, because I don't want those to block up my field, because I want to summon these two at some point, which unfortunately kills the mana with the eyes of blue. But, you know, sacrifices have to be made, and I'm taking damage for it. But not too much damage, because I have plenty of points. Aha! My Reckless Greed card! Which is what I needed to use in the first place. What does this do? Cannot be special summoned during your main phase. One of this card was normal summon. You can tribute this card, draw two cards. That's what he was doing. I was wondering what he was doing. Here we go with the Maiden of the Blue Eyes. I still can't do anything. I can't do shit! I tribute this, because if he special summons anything, I can draw a card. Unfortunately, he doesn't ever do that, I don't think. Raigeki! And he kind of wasted a card. And I tried attacking him, which... With a monster with zero attack and defense, I, nothing's gonna happen. It was for shits and giggles. <laughs> and there's the card that I could have used so long ago! But didn't get. Ooh, there's that one day of peace, and this little bastard keeps playing that dumbass card with the ugly fucks. The ugly fucks of trio of... What are they called? The the, 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 the three musketeers? The three fugly tears. Jesus God, but I have this, which saved me. So right now, I'm about to synchro summon something, which means I would have to sacrifice these, these, and these, and if they were to go to the graveyard... Actually, I don't know if tributing is the same as being destroyed. Maybe. But I play this, I think, first, which means I don't take damage at all, which means I could have sacrificed these three, and I wouldn't have taken damage. So that's why I didn't take damage. Oh, but he put them in... See, that's why I didn't take damage. But I have the Black Rose Dragon. Ah. And then that, which... I just wanted to put this out in the field. And nothing happens, because I'm dumb. Oh, thanks for the life points, douche! Oh, look at the card that I got! Asshole. I still have a hundred more points than you, though, after playing that. And that son of a bitch in his scarecrow! Which, similarly, there's a trap card similar to this called... Iron Scarecrow, or something like that, which is a trap card... It's continuous, and it never gets destroyed unless you try and destroy it with something like Mystical Space Typhoon. What it does, it cancels an attack. I have to burp. Ah! Oh. This little son of a bitch keeps drawing cards left and right, and I have two of these now, and I can't do anything with them. Oh, now I can! Because Card of Resonance, so I can get rid of those, and I got the trade in! And this is the card I was talking about, the Dragon's Mirror, which let which will let me summon uh, the Blue Eyes Ultimate as soon as I get rid of that with Trade In. So good thing for that. Yep, get rid of that with Trade In, just to get card resonance. And this is the best. It was the best. I was able to summon the Ultimate Dragon of Blue Eyes, and then I summon the Shiny Dragon. Alright, phase one of the plan complete. Excuse me, I said pause. Phase one of the complaint phase one of the plan complete. I was able to get blue eyes shining dragon. Okay. Now with this I can get the three blue eyes that I sacrificed for him back into my graveyard. But I don't have that one card again. I what was it again? It was uh Dragon's Mirror. I don't have that again. However, I use that because these two cards are useless to me. For well, well, yeah, they are useless to me because I have monsters on my field. And lucky draw, I get the Dragon's Mirror again. So then I'm able to summon that, and special summon the Blue Eyes Shining Dragon. Now I have two, each with 5,100 points. I am such a goddamn boss, it's not even funny. However, watch this. He's about to pull the douchiest thing ever. Okay. So I'm going to attack him. 
This little bastard plays that, the metal reflecting slime. Turns into a fucking monster with three hours of defense, except he has that! U.S. hat! And... Something he played... I have to... I have to attack him, I think. What, what is it? No. For some reason, I couldn't not attack him, and I had to keep attacking that stupid-ass thing. And I don't know why I did that. I thought... I thought by activating this, that effect would die and he would have to send it to the graveyard. No, it didn't. So now I'm at 600 points. This is this is where I stay stuck at. And I'm panicking. I'm like, oh shit, oh shit. Just one little touch and he's going to kill me. Although, look at, look at how many cards we have. Look at how many cards. Now, one of the... I think he activates one of these... Which was his first mistake considering the amount of cards we have. If he didn't activate one of these two, he would have been fine, because I would have run out of cards first. However, this is where the clutch comes in. Oh right, I played the... one of those, um... Reckless Greed cards earlier, so I don't have to draw cards. Yay! However, he does. So then this becomes a game of, you know, who runs out of cards first, which is obvious it's going to be him. And I would thought, he, I don't know why I thought he would special summon something. Doc Hole, you son of a bitch! And that was the most clutch win ever. And that son of a bitch thought he could attack me with a swift scarecrow with zero attack. You dumb. And then that little asshole card again. Did he have another one of those D2 shields? No, he didn't. So I was in the clear. And then... He has no cards to draw. Therefore, I win. I am the best. Replay ended. And that... Was the most close to win... That I've ever seen in Yu-Gi-Oh! history.